How you doing everybody? This is George aka Agent86 and today we're going to be showing you how to access the accessibility options on your brand new Gbox Q3. So to get to these options it's really simple. We're just going to click in this top right corner where we have this icon that looks like the uh, looks like a, a gear. That's your settings. All right and uh, if I scroll down to accessibility uh, I have options for things like captions so I can uh, select the language for the captions you know I'll say English United States the uh, text size so it, it comes normal but maybe you need large text so the caption style white on black black on white yellow on black yellow on blue or you could even create a custom color so this is a pretty nifty little option right here and uh, I uh, I normally like the yellow on black myself uh, it depends and uh, you can also turn the display on here so you can see what it looks like so there's your white on black there's your black on white there's your yellow on black there's your yellow on blue and uh, of course the custom colors if uh, if you wanted uh, you wanted that so this uh, option here show background as you can see will take that uh, second color off so maybe you just want the captions you don't want uh, the background there you can go ahead and turn that off if you want to show the window I, I wouldn't know why you would want to but maybe you want to show the window and the uh, you can also change the window color now uh, you also have your high contrast text and uh, in parentheses it does say that it's experimental so uh, as you can see when I click it uh, on uh, I get uh, kind of higher contrast on my text there you can see I have a little outline now on uh, on all of my uh, all of my text uh, you also have your text-to-speech options and uh, the default language settings now you can also access your access accessibility options by clicking on the word apps and then clicking on settings once you're inside more settings you're gonna go down to accessibility and you're gonna see uh, a lot of the same uh, a lot of the same options here uh, you got your captions uh, in this one here you also have your uh, magnification gesture to zoom quickly tap the screen three times with one finger uh, drag two or more fingers to scroll pinch two or more fingers together uh, or apart to adjust the zoom uh, to zoom temporarily quickly tap the screen three times and hold down your finger on the third tap uh, lift your fingers out to zoom uh, you can zoom in on the keyboard and navigation bar so if you wanted to turn that on you could uh, turn on the uh, magnification gesture right there you can also change the font size so uh, maybe this is too small for you to read so I have a few clients who don't have the best eyesight and uh, they're definitely going to be uh, benefit from being able to change the font size to uh, to a bigger size also the display size we can change that as well so you can uh, make the items on your screen smaller or larger some apps on your screen may change position uh, so you could change that there and it gives you a little preview as to uh, what it would look like and we're going to keep it at the default now if uh, you don't want to click after the pointer stops moving you could always turn this on so now if I hover over something and uh, as soon as the mouse stops it'll basically click for me so if I and uh, again I'm not clicking anything right now it's just it'll click automatically if that uh, is turned on so that's that's pretty nifty there uh, high contrast we already uh, experimented with that uh, auto rotate the screen we're gonna leave that alone speak password uh, large mouse pointer I've already turned this option on earlier 
Uh, normally the uh, the mouse that you get is smaller than this. Uh, mono audio, so combine channels when playing audio. You can turn that on if you wanted to. Your accessibility shortcuts, you can turn those on. Uh, when this feature is turned on, you can quickly activate accessibility features in two steps. Step one, press and hold the power button until you hear a sound or feel a vibration. And then step two would be to touch and hold two fingers until you hear audio confirmation. If the device has multiple users, using this shortcut on the lock screen temporarily enables accessibility until the device is unlocked. Now, your touch and hold delay, this, uh, this one is... Uh, important I believe that uh, normally it's on medium you could change it to short maybe you don't want to wait uh, a second and a half maybe you just want to click something real quick to get that uh, that long press option uh, color inversion so if you turn on the color inversion it's going to basically flip the uh, the colors and uh, color correction if you wanted to turn this on, this feature is experimental and uh, it may affect the performance. And that pretty much does it for how to access the accessibility options on your brand new G-Box Q3. If this video was of help or if uh, there was something I left out, make sure that you comment below. Let me know either way. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and uh, most definitely don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Uh, we definitely appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Thank you.